take you through what cast iron is and what I use it for and how to maintain it and everything else. This is from the Lodge brand. Since I live in the US, they have quite a few brands, Le Creuset Lodge, but you can find a lot in India as well. I think um, there are made in India versions or if you still want Lodge, I think Amazon sells them on Amazon.in. So cast irons, this is my regular saucepan. It's 10.25 inch. And you can see it is almost like Teflon, but there's a lot of work required for you to make this behave like Teflon. So after every use, so before that, I'd like to say that you need to initially use a bit more fat, like oil or anything else for you to achieve the seasoning. So after every use, I wash this immediately with hot water and then I pour it on the stove for five minutes and then I apply a thin layer of oil and again, keep it on the stove till it reaches its smoking point. That way the oil does not turn rancid. This is my saucepan. So that's, this is how it looks. It's pretty heavy, but trust me, it's toxin free cooking and that's what you're paying and getting for. And I think this was $14, if I'm not wrong. I got it from Walmart. The next one is another big pan, a frying pan that is 12 inches. I cannot lift this with one hand. I cannot. It's, it's too heavy. That's, I think, one downfall of cast iron. And this is big as well. I've been using this for almost everything. This is the pan I use the most for my curries, my gravies. And once I even roasted a whole chicken in this, so this pan is awesome. Again, I cannot lift this, it is too heavy. So this fits well within this. And this is my tiniest everyday saucepan that I use. This is super cute and super, I can, this is very easy to lift. This is my egg pan. I make eggs in this every day, eggs, bacon, and any small thing that I need to saute. This is super useful as well. So if you want me to make a video about seasoning my saucepan, let me know because I could do that as well. It's an everyday procedure. I season the pan that I use at least once every day, or at least if I use this for breakfast and lunch, I will be seasoning it twice. This is my girdle. I use this for pancakes, chapatis, rotis, and many other things like that. This was difficult to use because when I initially got it, I wanted to make dosas, but then they got stuck and I lost hope on cast iron and I didn't use it for a good five months. That is why you can see small scabs, but then I'm still seasoning it. So there you go. Next, so no Teflons. You will not see Teflons in my kitchen. I hate them. My husband uses one, but I don't. This is a glass baking tray. I used to use a... I think a non-stick baking sheet with alum aluminum foil on top, but then I read very bad things about aluminum foil and I switched out of them to glass baking trays. These are awesome. I lay out my vegetables, I spray them with oil and I stick it in the oven and I get good roasted vegetables. So this is awesome. Nothing sticks, absolutely nothing sticks to the bottom. And if you're scared of it breaking in the oven, that very rarely happens with an immediate major temperature change. So if you make sure that your oven's preheated not to a very high temperature, you're good. This is the, from the same brand. It's another glass baking tray, but I use these for cakes. Cakes and if I have very small things to roast. I have another glass bread baking pan, but I don't know where that is, so I'm not gonna show it to you. And if you want a view of my cat, my kitty cat is right here. And yes, I'm using my bed as the background because my kitchen floor is pretty dirty right now. So hey kitty kitty, hey. And this is my giant saucepan. I use this to boil pasta. Sometimes I use this to make stock, like last time I made bone broth. So I use this, this was pretty cheap and I got this from Walmart for like $5. And one more thing that I forgot to mention about my cast irons is they are pretty cheap as well. Um, totally for all four of these, I would have paid $40. I am not joking. I must have paid $40.
but if you want to buy one good big Teflon pan, I think you'll have to pay more than $40. All of these together cost you $40 and they will last you a lifetime. I'm not even joking. You can pass these to your kids, your grandkids. That's the best part about cast iron and they are healthy. And the last one is these two saucepans. I got these. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I got these from Ikea two years ago, of course. I need to upgrade them, but I don't think so. They do their purpose. I use this to boil water for tea and just heat up soups or something. But yes, this is all I use. And oh yeah, this is the lid for this. And this is just a steel, a stainless steel bowl, which is huge. And I use this for mixing my marinades for chicken or meat and even maybe making a mixture for my cake. So this is all I use in the kitchen for every day. I do not own a pressure cooker, nor do I own any Teflon. I don't own a pressure cooker because I've read a lot about them and that they essentially destroy nutrients while you pressure cook them. Pressure cooking is not natural. So I want to start using clay, clay cookware, like mud pots, but then they aren't available easily in the US and even the ones that are available are pretty, pretty expensive. When I was in India, I'm pretty sure you can get them for like 300, 400 rupees, but in the US, each pot is like $50. And that is too much of an investment when I can invest in these. The next thing that I would add to my cast iron collection is your Dutch pots, Dutch ovens. So I will be getting them soon. But this is what I use. It's not a lot, but I think this does the job for my everyday cooking. If you want to know more about cast iron, let me, do, let me know down in the comments box. I'll make another video. If you want to know about how I maintain and season them and what and how I season them and what else I do with them, let me know in the comments box down below. I will make another video about that. So I've pretty much shifted to healthy cookware and I think you should consider this too. If you don't want to invest in something very expensive, like your stainless steel pans are extremely expensive, this could be a best option. I fry up eggs without them sticking to cast iron. So that's how non-stick they've become. I hope you give it a shot. I hope you like this video and got a glimpse into my tiny, tiny kitchen. Let me know if you want to see anything else. This is all for now. Have a great day and bye.